Hi, I'm Lee Goldberg, and the other day I got a call from something called the New Age Literary Agency, inviting me to sign at their booth at the LA Times Festival of Books and maybe even be represented by them. So I thought it might be fun to give them a call and actually hear their pitch and how inane it is. So here we go. Lee Goldberg. This call is being recorded. Please hold while I try to connect you. That makes two of us. I wonder why they're recording the call. Alex here. Hi, Alex. This is Lee Goldberg returning your call. Oh, hi. Hi. First, may I ask why you're recording the call? Uh, does it say recording? Yes. Wait, I haven't checked my voicemail yet. Well, it's okay. It's You can go ahead and record it. That's I, fine. I, 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 didn't, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, honestly. I can check later with uh, our management why is that happening. My bad. Um, anyway, uh... Um, I got your call, yes. Um, first of all, how did you find out about me? Well, uh, to start with, uh, we get our leads directly from a publishing company that would say, I would say that they believe that the book has uh, potential, but the intent of the, or rather the nature of my call really was to check if an author would be willing to get their book exhibit uh, for the upcoming Los Angeles Times because we're actually one of the participants for this event, which is going to be this coming April, actually. I, I understand. I mean, I live in Los Angeles, so I'm familiar with the Los Angeles Times oh, Festival oh, books, okay. but I'm, I'm still not clear on how you came across my name. My publisher called you? My publisher emailed you? I'm, I'm not sure I understand. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest with you, how they, they distribute those uh, information. But that's how we get our information, actually. So are you a literary agency? I am from a literary agency, sir. Yes, correct. So you represent authors to publishers? Not necessarily directly to publishers. It depends on the book. See, there are times that the book itself is not good in terms of um, publishing uh, houses, but more on to movie adaptation. We find book investors that would tailor fit on the genre of the book. If the author and the uh, you know, movie producers would agree to it, then we find ways to connect with them. I'm, I'm, again, I, I apologize for being slow, but I, I don't understand. I mean, in, in the past, my I have a literary agent. He represents my book to a publisher. A publisher buys it. They publish it. When the book comes out, I get calls from movie studios or television producers who are interested in the book and then they want to pay me to option the book. I'm not clear what it is you're doing or how you work or what a book investor is. You'll have to explain that to me. It's more on uh, getting their book, buying the copyright is what I'm trying to say. Most of the movies, I'm pretty sure you know, they originally come from a book. If a movie producer or investors would see the potential of the book, especially if the book is very popular, then they will buy the copyright from the author. Then they will make a movie out of it. Maybe the big screen, the series, or whatever they, they, they do with it depends on the deal that they have with the authors. Have Do you know much about me or my book? No, to be honest, no. So, so it's entirely a cold call. You don't know whether my book sold well or who published it or what I've written before or anything about me? Because intentionally it's more of an invitation not much of working on those stuff. What's what's the advantage of having my, my book at your booth at the LA Times, Festival of Books? Well, that's a good question. We primarily promote books uh, for every uh, possible <clears throat> opportunities. I'm sure you've been there on, on this event in the past. I'm sure you know as well. There's a lot of traditional publishing houses that will be there. That also includes uh, bookstores owner. Those are opportunities. We have people that are, are assigned to get those books promoted, whatever books that are presented on our booth, we get them 
us, we talk to them, and we make sure that every books that are exhibited are very promoted, sir. What do you mean by very promoted? You're taking the book around to publishers who are at the festival and booksellers and trying to get them to buy the movie rights and or to sell the book in their store? Uh, no, not necessarily, because that, that's <clears throat> basically not allowed, because we're not allowed to sell in the first place. So I understand, uh, if you're not allowed to sell, why would I want my book in your booth? So people just walking by the booth, see my book there, and we invite them. Yep, we invite them. Hey, come check it out. This is the book that we have. This is the author. This is the content of the book. If they get, uh, if they're interested with the book, then you know we find ways to uh, get them to communicate directly with the author. If they're uncomfortable, we can be the middleman uh, during the, the uh, transaction. So you'd be acting as an agent, getting a percentage of whatever I sell the movie rights to, to whoever walks by your booth and is attracted by my book. Ultimately, yes. If that that yes. actually that actually works for you. Sorry. You, that actually works. That you actually sell books to the movies that way. A producer just walks by your booth, sees a book on the shelf, and comes in and without reading it or anything, options it. No, 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 not that big, not like that. See, we present them the book, right? Most of the time, they would ask what are the materials uh, so far the author has for, for this book. It'd be like a trailer, or if they have a sales track record that would tell them that the book is worth investing, those kind of stuff. And they say that, you know, this can they can do it, but they need to see if, if they see, they need to have like a better materials than we're doing it. Uh, maybe like a screenplay perhaps, or getting a script, script writer. If that is presented to producer, if they like it, then you know we help them communicate with the author, see if they can uh, close the deal. So how's that different than what my agent does for me? My agent sends my book to producers and stuff. I don't understand why being in your booth would. And how's that working so far for you? How's it working for me? You you haven't looked me up, have you? No, not really. I've done many TV shows and movies. I'm a New York Times best-selling author. I'm just saying, man. If, if, and, and to be honest with you, the way you describe the movie business working isn't how it works at all. What, what do you charge to be in your booth, to have my book on display there? For two days exhibit, that's $800. $800. Do you know how much a booth at the LA Times Festival of Books costs? Thousands. <laughs> you don't know, do you? You, I, 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 I could... I, I could get a booth myself for that amount of money okay. and just have my own book there. I, I wouldn't need you. So that that's kind of odd. Um, I, I'm just baffled by it. So you're saying that my publisher or someone at my publishing company contacted you and thought that um, you could help me sell my book to movies and TV by having it in your booth at the LA Times Festival of Books where – you'd be charging me more than the cost of me actually getting a booth myself. Are, are you guys based in Los Angeles? Our office is based in California, yes. Where? San Diego, California, sir. San Diego. So how how much experience do you have in television and film? Can you give me some examples of other authors who've sold their books to the movies or to television? Straightforward. I haven't gone to down on that deal yet. So you're a literary agent at this company. You don't know how you got my name. You don't know whether you have any clients who've made movies or TV shows. You don't know what the booth costs or how all this works. It sounds suspicious to me. I can understand. But you know what? If that's something that you're not into it, that's absolutely fine. We're not forcing you anyway. No, it just seems odd. I mean... You, you called me yesterday. You said, because I'm a New York Times bestselling author, you thought I'd want to be at your booth. I think if you have experience in the book business, you'd know if I was a New York Times bestselling author, that must mean I sell hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of copies, and that I must have an agent, and that I must be pretty successful, or I wouldn't be on the New York Times bestseller list. So That's true as well. So why call me in the first place? My guess is that you thought I was a self-published author, that I don't have any experience in Hollywood, that I wouldn't know how things work, and that um, I'd give you 800 book bucks to have my book on a shelf at your tent at the LA Times Festival of Books. 
I mean, if you looked into me before you called, you'd, you'd also know I'm a, a guest at the LA Times Festival of Books, and, and they have a booth for me and all the authors who are guests there. So you're actually calling authors. You don't even know what their books are about, and you don't even know anything about them. That's, that's a really strange way to do business. Can you imagine you read every single book for every author and we wouldn't display? That's not right. I mean, what if we're dealing with a book that has more than... 400 pages. God, it's going to take time. Yes, of course. That's what literary agents do. They read every book they're interested in representing, even if it is 400 whole pages. So, so you're saying you don't read books because they're lengthy? You just call people because they've written a book that you haven't read? <clears throat> what if my book is about having sex with dogs? You wouldn't know. You haven't read it. But you'd want me in your booth anyway. You don't know anything about me or my books. So you're, you're basically just cold calling people who've been published on Amazon. We only call, we only read those books. The moment we get a confirmation that we want to display, obviously it would be a waste of time to read the book first, right, before we get a confirmation for the author. Why? Okay. You could, wouldn't you want to read a book to see if it's something you were excited about and you thought you could sell rather than just calling someone based on the fact they've written a book and it has a title and a cover? It it's, doesn't make any sense. We will only read, like I said, we will only read it once we get a confirmation that they would want to get their book book exhibit on our booth ah and then you read it for content and see if it matches your high standards that you'd have for books you have at your booth mm -hmm. and whether it has movie potential yes based on on the other books that you've sold to producers in the past i didn't say that i sold books to the movie producers in the past so i mean have you had made any deals through this i did but I'm pretty sure that we have uh, successful agents have done that from the past with our firm. But you're not one of them. You don't. You haven't done that. I haven't done that, sir. Do you have an agent there I can talk to who's actually made movie deals and maybe could tell me what studios or books or something so I can see if this is worth eight hundred dollars to me? I don't think that would make sense since you already mentioned that you have an agent and you have your own booth. Right? No, I have, I'm a guest at the LA Times Festival of Books, and they, for the guests, they sell books through the booths that they operate. Right. But I don't have I don't have movie producers coming by, and 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 asking for the rights. When I have a booth, when I'm a guest in the booth at the LA Times Festival of Books, what usually happens is readers come to me with books they've bought, and have me sign them. I'm sitting in an empty booth, and people come to me with books they've purchased of mine from booksellers at the conference for me to sign or to have their picture taken with me, you know, that, that kind of thing. No movie producer ever comes up to me and, and asks about the rights, and nor do I make any, any deals at the conference. I, I talk about my books, and I talk to readers, and I, I sign their books, and, and, and you know, that's it. I mean, it's not a, a, a situation where rights are sold. A hundred thousand people a day show up at the LA Times Festival of Books. There are hundreds of booths there, most of them from booksellers. I'm not aware of any booths besides yours, which I'm gonna have to stop by and look at at the booth at the festival. That's operated by a literary agency selling movie rights. That's that's really weird. You're you're saying you're not allowed to sell books at the booth because all the other booths there are selling books. You're gonna be the only booth there not selling books. Yeah. That's weird. For the record, I just want to make it clear with you, we're not there to sell uh, movie rights or book rights. That's not what I said. What did you say? I'm confused. I apologize. What, what is it you're there to do? We promote every book, right? If we see, just an example, uh, business potential, like for example, a movie producer would want to look at the book, understand the potential, the content and everything. If they see that the book is worth investing, then they would begin asking us, how can we get a call with, a, with the author? Is it self-published or independently published? So on and so forth. It's not like we jump to the gun right away and tell them, hey, you know what? This is a book. You can buy the copyright for this. We can give you the contact number for the author. So how is that different from, say, a movie producer just going to the Barnes & Noble booth or Book Soup booth and looking at all the books available for sale and picking up my book and going, oh, this looks interesting, opening the book, flipping a few pages and seeing where I thank my agent 
or not even that just they look at the book looks interesting they turn it over look at the spine and see who the publisher is i think when i go back to the office on monday i'll call penguin putnam or bantam or ballantyne or whomever publishes the book and and see if i can find out if the rights are available why would they stop by your booth instead of just browsing the bookstores and seeing what looks interesting and making a list of books that appeal to them and on monday morning calling the publisher or calling um, the books the author's agent. I, I'm, I'm confused by the, the business model. Hello? I guess I lost him. What a scam. What a scam. It's amazing to me that people fall for it. I could have been more brutal with him, but um, I was having too much fun. I hope this video, though, educates those of you who get a solicitation like this and are tempted to throw away the money. By the way, I don't know if a booth at the LA Times Festival of Books cost $800 or less or more. I was just giving the guy a hard time. But it just shows you these guys have a script. They don't know what to do if you deviate from it. I'm not sure why they record the calls. That, that's kind of interesting. Maybe they want to have evidence that you agreed to a certain financial transaction. I don't know. But anyway, that was a lot of fun. I hope you learned something from it. Uh, I guess that's it. I have to go back to writing now. Enough procrastination. <laughs>